This paper, these things were published in Folded, that was it, Black Dwarf. Um, and in, instead, um, we were going to start, me and my friends were going to start another paper. So I wrote to him again, um, saying, John, you remember we had that sort of <laughs> tiff. <laughs> And um, well, we're starting up a new paper, and, and uh, would you, you know, wonder if you'd be interested in, in, in supporting us? And he wrote back this letter by hand, posted it through my door. It basically, it's written on American Airlines paper, but the K, the, the C in American is turned into a K, which is what people did those days if they wanted to show that America was a, um, an imperialist fascist country. That's the, the K for the Ku Klux Klan, and so he's changed the C to a K there. We're here in New York through October. You can call or write us here, collect if you write. He said we could call them uh, uh, reverse charges. And he gives the hotel and the phone number. There it is. And then it says, love, John and Yoko. And there's a little picture of John. And there's a little picture of Yoko. So <laughs> that was lovely. The, 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 ch the three chairs I like to play, the first one is, is an example of this electric blues. The, 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 the music I found was, after rock and roll had sort of peaked and then sort of faded again, um, I discovered this, this music that's raw, passionate, um, and, and absolutely thrilling. And, uh, and I'm going to play Howlin' Wolf, who's one of my favourites, and it's a sort of uh, <laughs> terrific. So much uh, sort of black music has been done since. You can just hear that that's where it started. You know, comes from. I think the music still works. It's just still great. It was, it was really, really good music, you know, and it, and, it's, and it sounds good now as it did then. Um, the next play, next tune I want to play is by Junior Walker. The thing is that this tune um, begins with him apparently saying, Ma Hoodie. Ma Hoodie. And then he says, uh, I live a life that's free and easy, right? Well, what does Ma Hoodie mean? And this guy, Ben, knew Eric Clapton. And Clapton apparently said, come, come, you can be a roadie on this tour. And we discovered that Cream were going to play in Detroit. So he said to Ben, look, if you meet J Junior Walker, um, ask him what the first words of the song are, you see, of Roadrunner. So Ben went up to uh, Junior Walker and said, my friends back in London, you know, they want to know what the first words of Roadrunner are, you see. And Junior Walker told him. Great. Um, however, then they all went back to the hotel <laughs> for a party. There was a big line of coke, enormous joint. It looked like half a pint of Jack Daniels. He got completely slaughtered, right? The next day he woke up, he couldn't remember what Junior Walker told him the words were. <laughs> I was working freelance journalist, music journalist, but I wasn't actually earning all that money doing that. So I got a job as a, in, in, working in a youth club in, in uh, Summerstown behind Euston Station. And these kids were sort of like 13, 14, 15, that sort of age, little um, skinny girls and really sort of skinhead boys and, you know, and um, black and white. And they were playing this music. Right? <laughs> It's Bob Marley, but it's the it's the B side of Is This Love, right? Which came out in 1978, and the B side is called Crisis, a version. So it's it's a sort of dub, well at least an instrumental uh, of the song called Crisis, and I just love it, and it's beautiful, and it's sort of got the whole uh, warm beauty of, of of reggae, and 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 it's not leisurely, but it it doesn't it never rushes. Mm -hmm. 